What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Antihero and today I am gonna be showing you how to get closed captions onto your stream without the need for external websites or Twitch extensions. So there are many reasons why you should be using closed captions or subtitles on your streams. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do that without the need for any Twitch extensions or external websites. So why are closed captions or subtitles so important to you and your stream? Well, think about it like this. You're streaming away and you have a new viewer come. That viewer happens to be hearing impaired, but you don't have any subtitles or closed captions on your stream available for them to see. That viewer will feel like they can't participate properly within your stream because they don't have the option to see what you are saying on the screen. Secondly, what if someone is unable to have the audio for your stream on but would still like to know what's happening? If they are able to have closed captions or subtitles on the screen, then they can feel like they are included as well. So it's really, really important to have captions or subtitles enabled so that people can utilize them. I know that there are some websites out there that you can add an OBS browser source with and they will allow you to show captions on your stream. And I also know that there are some Twitch extensions out there that do the same thing. However, this is a direct plugin to OBS, which means that you do not have to use any Twitch extensions and you do not have to use those external websites. It's super easy to set up and once it is done, it is done. And you can continue on with your life and continue providing the same content but having those closed captions available for people that need them. As a side note, this will not work for Streamlabs OBS because you cannot use plugins on Streamlabs OBS. Please, if you use Streamlabs OBS, I feel like it could be holding you back from some amazing plugins that really, really help your content. So let me go through the steps to get this set up for you so that you can get out there and create the best content that you can. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come across to obsproject.com. We're then gonna go and click on forum over here. Once we're in forum, if you go to resources at the top and then OBS Studio plugins, you will find all of the plugins that are available to you on this little site here. Um, I believe the one we want is on page number four. Yep, there it is. So closed captioning via Google speech recognition. We're going to go ahead, open this page up. Uh, this here gives you the features, some notes about it um, and some information. What we want to do, though, is we would like to click on this source code URL here to take you to the GitHub page. Once you are on this GitHub page, it gives you a uh, information of how to install the plugin. Um, if you don't know how to install OBS plugins, I will be making a video for that uh, in the next week or so. Um, but for now, just follow the instructions on this page and you will get yourself uh, the closed captions plugin installed nice and easily. What you're going to want to do on this page is look across and click on releases. Once you're on releases, you will find the latest downloads. So whether you're on Linux, Mac OS or Windows, download whichever one it is and get that installed through the instructions that you find on the GitHub page here. Okay, guys, so now you've installed your closed caption plugin with the instructions that you found on the GitHub website and you've opened up OBS Studio. So for first time setup, you're gonna to wanna to click on tools at the top here and then go down to cloud closed captions. Once you're in this, you'll have a preview so you can see on here that it is picking up my voice and it is captioning what I say. So we'll click on settings here and this will take you to this little tab here. And this is pretty much super, super easy to set up. In general, all you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that scene collection is on what you use and your caption source, whether it's Mike Aux one or you use a different source to capture your microphone, you wanna make sure that the microphone source is selected here, okay? You can choose whether you wanna caption on stream or if it's muted on stream, but obviously you're gonna want a caption source is heard on stream. Language, choose your language here, that will do that. Output to streams only. You can also do it to streams and local recording if you would like to. Um, some sometimes people would like would like to do that for YouTube videos or something like that. Um, but that is nice and easy to do. So set those up for you there. Profanity filter, if you want it on, feel free to have it on. I personally don't because, you know, uh, mature audience, all that kind of stuff. But if you would like the profanity filter on, please do. And then capitalization, normal English lies. You can have it as all caps if you want, or you can have it as all lowercase. I just leave it as normal English like because that's, you know, how the language is written and it looks pretty good. Um, caption timeout, I leave. I don't really do anything with this. This just sort of, it tells you how long it leaves it on the screen. Um, transcripts, you can save for transcripts if you would like. So 
if you would like to record YouTube videos or anything like that for your SRT files, then you can save the transcripts in a certain folder, which means you can upload them straight to YouTube as the SRT file and you are good to go on your captions for your YouTube streams. I don't leave, I don't change anything else in here. I'm not saving them at the moment. I probably will shortly in the future though, because it makes a lot of sense. Open captions, again, I leave it alone. I don't touch anything here and text filtering. I haven't got anything in here. Once you've done all this, you basically should be good to go. You're going to want to make sure that captioning enabled is ticked here. You're going to want to click on save and then in the settings, you can click on show preview and it will show you basically what you have been saying. So you can see exactly what I have been saying this entire time. Um, and that is basic setup done. Once you start streaming, it will go live. Once you start record recording, it will also go live. And to show you what it looks like on stream, I'll just show you one of my past VODs here. So if I click in a little bit here, let it load up, you will see when you hover over the video itself, a little box here that says CC. When it's not filled, it won't be showing any captions. When it is filled, when you select it, it shows the captions just here. So you can see that my captions are working and you can see that they are on screen for people to see. Now, if you have um, FFZ installed, I believe that you can change the way that the captions look, how big they are, all that kind of stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. I haven't delved into that yet, but I may do that soon and probably update the video or make another video on how to change the options, how to make these look um, a little bit better. But this is probably the best way to caption without having to use a web captioner or using extensions on Twitch. It's baked into OBS, it's good to go. Once you've installed it, you need to do nothing else. It will just work, as Todd Howard once said but it actually works. Okay guys, so there is how to add closed captions or subtitles to your stream without using a web captioner or using a Twitch extension. If you guys have found this helpful in any way at all, please do consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you do not miss out on any future videos. There's gonna be more OBS tutorials and Twitch help coming very, very, very soon guys. Remember to hit the thumbs up button. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.